Guess what? Surprise! It was Parents Observation Day! And everyone dressed up pretty except for you! Ooh! Yay! Thanks for telling me! No one told me. But I don't really care. You know what? I really don't care. Um, I don't... I don't really get nervous about that kind of stuff. And it was kind of fun having the parents there. You kind of like gauge how well my lesson was going based on like whether or not they stayed or left. Um, I had the second grade. No, I had the first grade today. <laughs> they were so cute. We were learning animals, and they were just adorable. And the parents stayed and watched. I just love the first graders. They're so cute. Ah. And then um, second grade. I had lunch with the second grade, and I sat right next to Righteous Kid. If you remember Righteous Kid. He's like, he's the politician you want to vote for because he stands up for everything. And even though he's firm, you like, oh, wow, you, it like, you believe in him. But he's in second grade, meaning he's what, like seven? He's just so cool. And if anyone's being a bully, then he'll just walk over and be like, stop it. And everyone listens to him. It's amazing. <laughs> I sat next to a righteous kid during lunch. And um, in... You're supposed to eat everything that's on your plate, but there's this one piece of food that I just cannot eat. Well, there, there are several pieces of food I cannot eat, but one of them is konyaku, which is, it's basically this tasteless, jello-ish, boingy, oh, I just, I can't stand it. It's disgusting. And it was drenched in mayonnaise. So I ate everything around it, even though I hate mayonnaise. And I pushed the konyaku off to the side, and he was, like, looking at me. He was, like, being all righteous. And I was like, I love you. Please don't tell me to eat it. Because they have to eat everything. And so finally he was just like, you gonna eat that, my sensei? And I'm like, what's that over there? And then I, like, I pretended to try to move it to his plate. And he was like, no, you can't do that. He was being, he was being really cute. And then finally, I, at the end of the lunch, I didn't end up eating it. Because I just, I can't. I will become physically ill if I eat that stuff. I I put it back into the plate, and he was like, "Baby, <laughs> I'm sorry." Like I felt legitimately really upset that I disappointed Righteous Kid because he's amazing. I I'm voting for him for president when he turns. I guess prime minister. Like what do they have in Japan? <laughs> prime minister? President? <laughs> That's so bad that I don't know that. But yeah, I'm voting for him because he he will be that. He's amazing, Righteous Kid. And it was great because I was kind of down after the fifth grade class because the fifth grade lesson didn't go awesome. We were kind of in a boring part for the parents to watch. So, like, most of the parents left by the end of the lesson, and I was like, I'm not interesting. So I was all upset. And then it was lunchtime, and then I had it with the second grade. And the second grade was so cute, and they kept giving me presents. They gave me oh, so many presents, like, in the form of stickers. They, they'd just, like, peel something off of their... Um, notebook or whatever, and they'd like hand it to me, and they'd be like, here you go, and I'd be like, no, 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 and they'd be like, yes, 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 and then handing it, handing it to me over and over and over, and I have this, um, this notebook that I, I keep all the, the Japanese words that I learned for the day, and like, look at all of these things that they gave me, this thing right here, like, May Sensei is written on it, and like, Righteous Kid gave me this, <laughs> he, he pulled it, I'm like, it's so big, you can't give that to me, and he's like, Okay. <laughs> Love that kid. He's so awesome. Um, uh, anyway. Um, so, in the fourth grade class, the fourth grade class is fantastic. It's, it's my favorite class. Oh, it's up there with my favorite classes. And um, that's the class that Bonnie is in. And, um, a bunch of parents came to that lesson, and usually there's 18 kids in the class, but today one kid was absent, so there was only 17 kids. Um, and we were playing a game, and there were six people on each team, except for one, of course, because, you know, there's only 17 kids. So one had five kids, and I was like, oh no, this is bad, because it was a team where it really mattered how many people were on each team, otherwise it wouldn't be fair. So I was kind of like, does anyone want to participate? <laughs> as soon as I did that, like, Every single mom jumped up, and they were like, I don't want to participate, because they're all moms. There's no dads there. They're all, all the dads are at work, and all the moms are stay-at-home moms. It's just a fact. And, um, 
So we made a mom team because <laughs> they all wanted to play, and um, so one of them played on the on the team with the five people on it, and then there was another. There was a mom team, which is fabulous. I was like, oh, I love it. And, you know, of course, that lesson went really great compared to the fifth grade lesson, which went so bad. Um, not so bad, it just wasn't interesting to watch, I guess. I guess. I don't know. Um, but they, <laughs> it, was, it was really cute. Um, and you kind of have to, I picked the teams at random, and, um, you know, as you get into the game, you kind of see, like, well, the teams are pretty unbalanced, like, that team has a lot of not-so-smart kids, and that team has a lot of smart kids, so you kind of have to, like, rig the games and, um, change the rules so that, you know, everyone gets a chance to get a point, because you don't want it to be a blowout, you don't want to, the game to end with like 10 points to 2 points, that's no fun. So I usually try to rig them so they're they're pretty even throughout and then like I like it to come back, co come down to like the last point. Um, today there was one team that was winning by a lot. I couldn't do anything about it because everyone on that team was so smart and I was like, oh this is bad, I guess they just win. So it came down to the last point and they were 11 points ahead of the second place, because there are four teams. They were 11 points ahead of the second place team. So I was like, okay, this is the last point, and it's worth 12 points! And they were like, ah! <laughs> and it, it ended up that they didn't get the question right, and it went to the next team, so they ended up winning. And I was like, oh, it's just a joke, you guys actually win. And they were like, oh, phew. So it, it, was, it was really funny. But... Yeah, I won't, I'll be more careful about that making that team. I mean, I try to make it random. If I make it too obvious, then they'll be like, oh, she's splitting up all the smart kids. Am I a dumb kid? I I was that person when whenever, like, teams got made. I was always like, oh, well, how is this split up? How did the teacher split these up? You know, if the teacher, like, pulled out a list and was like, okay, this, these are the teams, and, they, and she'd, like, read them off. Obviously, she thought about this beforehand. I'd be like, okay, so, so the first... Two names in each group are the smart kids, and the second two names in each group are the dumb kids, and the third, you know, I, I would like always try to think, like, which one am I? Am I a smart kid or am I a dumb kid? And I always try to figure it out. That's how I was in school. So I try to make it always random, because maybe there's that one crazy kid who's exactly like me and is doing the math in their head, and that just makes me sad. I don't want, I don't want anyone to think that they're a dumb kid even if they are dumb. <laughs> okay, anyway, that's that. Tonight is Enkai with... What was it? A clumsy McDropsies? Was that his name? Clumsy McDropsies. <laughs> so, we'll be going to that. By wheel, I mean I'll be going to that. And hopefully that'll be fun. Chinese food! Yay! Um, so, I'll see you guys tomorrow. And I'll let you know how dinner was. Yeah.